a working Alex. <laughs> so now, who on earth remembers what happened previously? Me. Didn't, didn't we just cover that? Yeah, I know, but I want a more detailed response. And because I wasn't <sighs> recording. So, previously on Caverns and COVID. Orvek went and got a shield, but he has to wait a bit of time to get it. So he went to try and catch up with everybody else. On his way to everybody else, he met a shadow demon thingy majig and hit it and intimidated it and it went away. Uh, he then caught up with people at the church. He kicked the door down. Uh, there was a weird dude that likes tea and spheres. Sorry, cough pause. Um, <laughs> then, oh yeah, Tokshar was like stabbed through his chest. Uh, Ovek thought about attacking, but then realized that this dude like speared Tokshar and it was probably a bad idea. Um, we had some negotiations, um, which Ovek just sort of let everybody else do the talking. Um, then came to an agreement that we would help the Tijor to get what he wanted um, and managed to convince him not to kill Tokjar immediately. Uh, somehow managed to walk out of there intact and with the person that we wanted. Um, you sort of helped then... him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it was a bit tense. Then... What was it after that? After that all, all I remember after that is uh, a couple of us went back to the tavern, whilst a couple of us went on a walk. Uh, the two that went, me and I believe uh, you've not no. your actual name there. Yeah, Tim. I can't remember names. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Is that Emu? Or is that... No, that's not Emu. Hmm. Emu's the other one. Gorm. There we go. Gordon now, guys. Gorm and Ulvik uh, went back to tavern. Gorm smelt a familiar smell of an ale from his homeland. Uh, we went to investigate, squeezed through a really tight thing, uh, and then encountered the shadow again. Um, once we encountered the shadow, Ulvik once again swung at it and managed to get it to disappear. Uh, and then we went inside the tavern and caught up with the rest of them who had returned from their walk. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that yeah. was but when I said more detailed, I wasn't expecting that. Well done. Spot on. I think I think I think I you and It was slightly from Olvik's point of view, but yeah. No, yeah. I like that from his that point good. of view. That was quite good. It's like the, uh, the, the other... Olvik's journal. The only other thing that we had was Till and Emu having a chat off to their own aside and then as they wandered the town a bit. And then us all kind of bullying Talk Shar into Revealing more than he wanted to, but he kind of had to. Yes. Yo. Yes, indeed. And then cliffhanger, obviously. Yeah, we still haven't met him yet, but. Nope. We'll Mister Hanger will turn up at some point. Brilliant. So yeah, so we kind of finished last time on um. Or sorry, Mangy, you said you wanted to say something. I wasn't. No, I was it. joking, like, as in, he explained everything, and then we were all kind of like, it's probably the same thing again. Oh, right, okay. That <laughs> 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 takes us to half past seven, that was a good, good, good run, guys. Good recap. Uh, good recap, right, let's take a break. Uh, First no, of cool. level 20. Uh, that depends. Nice try. <laughs> So yeah, I think we, we, we finished on that like sort of scene with um with Gorm holding the, the journal, the, 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 the book um of Tokjar and it kind of, you know, zoomed out through the floor up to to see Tokjar kind of at his at his bedside, um and then we had that split screen of talk and tea, um kind of with tea praying in the temp in the, the church and talk kind of at the side of his bed contemplating um, so what did you what did you make uh the Google do during this escapade uh, he played a lot of dragon chase <laughs> yeah, <that's> surprisingly <laughs> without incident like without incident really? at all do you know what um have have three gold pieces hey cool so um 
I'm going to assume you all kind of like went to bed at some point after that and uh Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Definitely did you, not. Did you, did, you, did you just sit there? Uh what happened after the book? Wasn't there weird mystic shit? Oh yeah, well, um he picked up uh he picked up the book and it said on it um Leah Heath and then as you just kind of read it the that the, the words disappeared from the page. Obviously, my brain went, L-H, of course, that's the L-H. I've only now just realized that, so. Yeah. Yeah. So what does everybody do after that vanishes, then? I believe I did actually go to sleep. Said that. Like, instantaneously, like, you hold the book up and oh. fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, it was a very long day. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was quite a long day. <laughs> Um, I think I just went up upstairs to a room with a, a king size bed for a king size cat and uh, slept peacefully. I, I can tell you now you did not get a king size bed. Um, oh, darn. Uh, this place doesn't really look like Queen? it accommodates many overly sized beds. Um, I think they went for space it efficiency. Slept in a slightly larger than single size bed you you can believe that all you want yeah <laughs> so yeah as you you kind of kind of you, you you go to sleep um dig dog leo do you what 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 do you wish to do like would you would you have gone to bed after playing a lot of dragon chess or would you stayed up in the i would have just gone to tavern bed. all night yeah yeah three gold isn't turn out i'm off to bed and all yeah, probably just packed it in. Found where the barkeep have um, set me up for the night. Um, Done a, a yeah, wee walk around the bed. Like a, like a wee, like storage yeah. room. Um, I think you said stable in week two. Or a cellar. I hmm. think Tilda asked him if he had a stable. <laughs> and he was like, oh yes. I don't think Olvek was very, very impressed with that. So. Very chuffed with that. No, so yeah, I think you, you maybe maybe after a bit of conversation you've had like um, you've been given a sort of storage like cellar room and they've just made up like mm. a bed out of comfy things. I mean, you're used to camping out in on rough yeah. ground anyway, so I do that thing that dogs do where they sort of like walk around in a circle for a second and then lie down. <laughs> do you know they do that to face the wind? Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Cool. That is cool. Is there a reason? The more like you a... know. Well, they do it to face uh, the wind, then why do they do it why? inside? Because they still attempt to like face the air current, regardless. Uh, so their fur doesn't get blown uncomfortably. It goes the way the hair grows. Hmm. Do you know what? Yeah. I, I, yeah, cool. That makes some sense. Also, they want to point their nose at any possible scents coming their way. That makes sense. Like biscuits. Hey. Um, like yes, biscuits primarily, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, that was um, a terrible joke. Cool. Uh, Emu, did uh, did Emu like do anything before retiring or? Um, probably like stayed up fairly late, just um, writing some things down. Um, the bar out on some 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 of my notes and things till it was like quite late. Uh huh. Um, are you are you like um, taking note of anything specific, or you just kind of like reaccounting the day and how how things um, kind of... slightly, but also just like um, some of the the back burner stuff from my time in seclusion, and that's not necessarily related to anything. Yeah, and uh, till that. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel yeah, it's okay. weird that everybody just decided. All right, cool. Magic yeah. book and then every day fucks off is really weird, but okay. Um, I think I just probably just watch every day like leave one by one, and obviously if Emu is still sitting there, I'll be like, "Would you mind if we shared a room for the evening? I don't think I wish to be alone here. This is not a safe town anymore." Very well. But if you snore, I am hitting you with my stick. I think she just laughs. <laughs> she just laughs at that. She does not make any of the innuendos everybody else did. 
Um, <laughs> also, does emo have a defined gender? Emo. Uh, female. Cool. Or, okay. Sorry. Um, straight. But well, uh, you know, what? I have I haven't really given it enough thought. Um, I'm still. Still so going through that. I never said sexuality. Sorry, I said gender. I'm sorry. I'm not good at <laughs> knowing the, the distinctions of those things. Okay, um, male, female, undefined. Female. She's definitely cool. female. Cool. Fine. Perfect. Also, I think that Ovik would have sort of stayed up until everybody else was heading to bed, uh, particularly Tilda. Yeah. Um, yeah. That makes sense. My I character. think it... uh, for my character, it's mainly. Um... She's used to being a, a free well, a freeloader, and what's working hard is for her is probably not working hard for other people. So you're I'm also sure. female. I'm not really sure at this point. It's just whatever. I'd say undefined, just cause. Okay. Okay. Two hulking dudes and a and a gaggle of little women. The um, <laughs> I think as everybody goes to bed, obviously it's like Ovek and Emu that are left. I obviously said to Emu, and then after laughing at the, the comment made, bring the dagger back out and then show the LH kind of insignia again on it. So I think we found the owner of the dagger. Thunder claps in the, the distance. Uh... That's at least a hundred feet away, based on that spell's description. Clapping <laughs> for the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the, the wind the, the wind blows the door wide open. Um, I think maybe like that maybe um, you know you you've probably sat up for quite a bit, and the, you know the the barkeep kind of like closing up the door and notices that the front door's been left open by by Tilda, and he probably goes over and closes it. And all like the the help staff sort of come round and like wipe the tables down and start packing things up. Um, probably trying not to get too in your way, but also like just kind of hovering to see if they can clean your table. And yeah, I'm still waiting to see if MD replies to what I said to them at the table. Everything's particularly quiet. You don't know who that person like to, is. I just like to look at the um, at Ovex hammer just to like see if the, the mark is there at all. Uh, yeah, you can. Um, you can see it's there's. It just looks as, however, Ovex wants to describe his hammer, omitting the. The 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 dragon eating the turtle um, symbol, burned on it. So the symbol's still there? No. Cool. When did that vanish then? That's interesting. That is interesting. Indeed. Indeed. Now it's just a picture of a hammer on a hammer. Because it was there before. Like yes. mere mere hours ago. In fact, yep. mere minutes ago, in fact. It was there. Indeed. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I pick the dagger up, put it away, since nobody seems interested in investigating any of this nonsense, never these sleeping. But did anybody yeah. mention my hammer? I mean, noticing that the symbol is not there, even though it was there two seconds ago, I have literally nothing to go on, so. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, no idea. Like, Perhaps. so we don't even talk about it, we just sort of, you notice it, but don't say anything. Yeah, our notice is gone now, because that is weird, but. I don't know why it's weird yet. Does that make sense? So she wouldn't. I'm gonna say it's hard seeing shit. Um, would like to talk of his time with his shady shade. I might have something to do with it. Yeah, if somebody were to mention that it's gone because Olvik hasn't noticed yet. Yeah. Again, I don't know. I think I'd like if that's something Emu has specifically noticed. And it's easy enough for me to notice. I think I would just look at Emu. As if that could be concerning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Emu would just sort of just 
have a quick check to see if it's there and seeing that it's not there it just sort of think about it probably wouldn't say anything to Fair enough. The reason, like, so to give you a bit of insight into, like, why she wouldn't, like, say anything, it's because she doesn't know you yet, right? So she doesn't want to say something that then makes you hulk out even more. Yeah, that's fine. So I think until I learn more about it, I, I don't want to, you know, set you off, as mm -hmm. it were, considering it's difficult to gauge who we're with now based on Topshar and Tezor and Spears and churches. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just head to whatever room me and Emu have. Yeah, um, you're probably all kind of on the, the sort of top floor in the the sort of like same same like three three-ish rooms that are uh, where the sleep like rooms. near each other. Three-ish. Three-ish, you know. Um. I don't have to sleep, which is nice, so I don't mind taking first watch between me and Emu. I just need to kind of transfer a bit. Yeah. So handy. That's why elves are so cool. Um. Yeah. Elves are dicks. Yeah. It's not, it's not fair on the rest. Maybe half orcs first, then elves racial trait wise, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit racial trait they get. <laughs> what is the half orc racial? I'm a half orc. Uh, don't I read it out, Dixie? I'm a half orc. Like, what's my race trait? It will be on your see the red text, the features you know, section. Like the, the bottom right. It's in there. I think it's like relentless something maybe. Um. Yeah, relentless endurance. Hang on. That is one of the single-handedly best racial traits in the game. When you are just your hit points were not killed outright, you can. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yes. The reason it's good is because as you level up, because your health gets bigger, that ability improves every level. That doesn't happen with other racial traits, really. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. Whereas his will cap out as soon as his con caps out. Because mm. if you can imagine a, like a sword doing a d6 just now, but then later a fireball doing 8d6, you can see why the orc gets the better deal than the Goliath. Yeah. Goliath's still nice, especially for the first couple of levels. It's still really good. Like maybe up to like third or maybe even fifth level, it's still okay. But hmm. at that point, it's been not as cool as I don't die. Move, I mean, which they yeah. have. They have to get something though. They're obviously going to be bullied in most settings. So. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's really, really pretty cool. I basically can see in the dark and dash. It's not really yeah. <laughs> but you also can climb and you can do a double. You actually have fuck tons of racial moves as a uh -huh. tabaxi. I can see three. So you've got claws. Healing That's one. Ability, dark you've... And claws. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't see your claws now. Yeah, cat's claws. Yep. So they yeah, give you a climbing cool. speed and a weapon, which is mm -hmm. huge. And you've got your double movement thingy, which is the at any point you can just double your entire movement for a turn. So if you move and dash for sixty feet, you can use that move to move another sixty feet. Oh. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. And then if you had something else like. The, what the rogue can do, where they can get another 30 feet on top of that for 90, they can, you could then use it then to go to 180. Yeah. But the only thing is, you need to spend the next turn moving zero to reset it. I feel like in these maps, there's not a single map we've had that's like 180. Depends on the situation, right? It's like a roleplay narrative thing as well, right? You can use it as a, I know I can run super fast, look at this, I'm going to do that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The narrative space. But yeah, so the reason why Tilda was laughing, obviously, at Yumu's comment about snoring is like she doesn't even sleep, so snoring's not a thing that would come up. Um, but I like the idea of it. Mm. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess we go back to the room. Cool. Right. So if, uh, so Tilda, are you are you staying up with, like, w watching while Yumu kind of sleeps and. 
Maybe. They're just taking turns, not just being both completely vulnerable and at the mercy of MD with a knife. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. You know that that standard sleeping pattern. You know. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Is everyone else just conking out and? Conking out. Sorry, I'm, out. I'm 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 just conking. I am. Still I presume half elves do need to sleep. Uh, if it doesn't say you don't, then yeah. Mine's is I'll paste why I can do. See, I get this. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Let me put this in. I get that. Also, someone trying to open a can quietly. Yeah, yes, it was exactly someone trying to open a can quietly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the cinema, isn't it? When you hear the slow rustling of a bag and people just go, just open the bag. Yes. <laughs> so Why do you need to take 60 seconds to open that popcorn? And it's, always, <laughs> it's always during like the really quiet, like intimate moment. <laughs> you just get... Steven, I'm... Somebody's opening a can, I go... Well, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Which is really bad on snakes in a plane when you're trying to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. So yeah, I think everybody sleeps. I think. So yes, right. No, yeah. Back in, back in, the, back in the game. Back in the game. Um, I think uh, Ovik, you can. I think you fall asleep. You know, pretty pretty quickly. You've had a trying day, um, jumping from one world to another and weird portal jank and. Oh. He and uh, I think you 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 probably have like this some some weird dreams, um, and one of them I think uh, you're you're kind of maybe wandering through familiar towns and cities, um, so possibly you know places that you've been before, obviously hence familiar, um, <laughs> 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 like as as you're kind of like walking the. The, the, like the road ahead seems to keep like pulling you forward but every now and again you feel like you want to go back to like the places that you're leaving behind um but like as you kind of like look back after you leave each place um the the place sort of evaporates and is replaced with that sort of nothingness that you've been i hate bad dealing dreams. with dealing with um yeah, um, and then you kind of uh, yeah, yeah. So it get yeah, kind of replaced with the dark nothingness, and then you 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 kind of you keep walking forward. It's kind of like calling you to walk forward, and then you know all of a sudden, as dreams do, you're in. There's nothing around you, kind of floating in that nothing space, um, and then in front of you is that sort of familiar non-descript rough approximation of a humanoid shadow figure with this arm reaching out to you stop ghosting your shadow boyfriend okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh yeah i think he i think um you, you kind of hear it speak to you in like many voices i think it kind of mixes in like um maybe voices of of the the party you've just kind of found yourself mixed with you know tilda and um Doug Dig 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 oh, Doglio and um, Doglio, <laughs> Dog Diglio. Um, as soon as he goes to dig, boys, I want to fucking attack it. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, you just kind of hear hear it just say in, in all the voices. I told you, we want the same thing, and then that's like when the dream ends. I told the... you, we want the same thing. We want. Yeah, there you go, Dig Doglio. <laughs> We have everyone at the same time. Three, two, one. Happy yeah. birthday! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. birthday. For, like the rest of that, you kind of like don't. Um, uh, Dig Doglio, you also dream after oh, you I... just because you know dreams are cool. No, 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 no. no. So I can write this down so I can take notes for next week. <laughs> I could have sworn all the pen on this fucking desk. He's actually just going for another can. <laughs> Make it so that he doesn't remember his fucking dream. <laughs> or like a notepad on your computer. I like, mean, yeah, you can just open notepads. Um, you could type into your character sheet. The you know, you're better than me. 
it's, it's, it's being recorded. You could just always just no, listen back. No, if you've got back. 27 health. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fine. If you've got 27 health, I'm not better than that. Christ's sake. All right, so tell me, what is the... Uh, what is, what so, is this wet dream I have? Um, it's, it's very damp. Um, the moisture what? is a lot. Wow. Um, <laughs> dreams. You're, you're, I think you're, you're kind of back at the the temple. Um you know, with that that scene of um, Gorm yeah. sort of kneeling down and talk standing over him, and it, it's like it's it's a bit jumbled from, um, from what actually happened. But like t- you you hear like talk jar telling you, um, not to wake him; it'll be death for us all. Um, and then you kind of see through the world. Oh, no, um, trippy. Yeah, it's very trippy, <laughs> and um you kind of see that this kind of presence that's emitting this like purplish like subdued hue um and then you you kind of like go to stop yourself but you don't and like you hear yourself just shout what the fuck <laughs> um and then like you're kind of just all you can see is that purple hue and it just like instantly switches to like this like fiery red like color uh, and you have like this like weird sinking feeling and then uh, you you sort of continue and slumber off into your your snooziness did they wet the bed or is it good uh do you want to roll for wet bed for fuck's sake right i'm <laughs> rolling constitution constitution yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, hang on. Con save? Uh, also, like, I, I can't believe Cameron had to do this question. Like How dare you kill <laughs> Dry sheet! Fuck you! Dry sheet! D- Hell bonus yeah! Of, bonus of dry! The sheet is so the... dry, it ignites in flames. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick, you needed a net 20. <laughs> take, tw- take 27 fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. Oh, well fucking done, no man. Twenty-two, no con save. That's like Oof. super Oof. useful. Save that one. Oh my god. And there it goes. All of my luck. The rest of the fucking <laughs> this game. is this is the, yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. You just use up At all least your, good rolls. your dignity, though. If you die saving us, that's fine. You'll be remembered fondly. Yep. Yeah, um, Gorm, I think you wake up. Good. Um, and you, oh. you, yeah. <laughs> You wake up and you you feel this distinct Not missing like lack of um like since ever since kind of falling through the the ball pit that wasn't there into this this world you've kind of felt like the presence of your Gaia kind of with you and this is like the first time since then that you've felt that presence sort of not there and it's kind of this sort of cold um empty feeling I think. Um, as you can I always... wake up in like hot sweats, like Anakin in Attack of the Clones. Yes. He's still my beating heart. Oof. Back to Star Wars stuff. Damakin. Oh. Damakin. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think like m- maybe you know you try and like, s- maybe you panic a little bit, but then you try and settle down, get to sleep, and wake in the morning because it's still really epic. And then you you kind of like hear as you're kind of nodding off maybe in and out of sleep you hear like Gaia's voice just like talking to you and it's not that like warm like nice voice that you've kind of gotten used to it's it's kind of got this sort of like nasty incarnation is going on here yeah <laughs> nasty sort of like um wrathy horrible sound to it and it, uh, all, he, all he tells you is it takes the strongest being to use my gifts are you showing me that you are of the weakest and then you wake up and you feel normal but maybe a bit um i don't know how would you feel unsnoozed unsnoozed dissed apparently <laughs> by a dream man yeah yeah i feel like i've just been served <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know the the, the girl no walks in soon. with your with your breakfast and yeah. hands it to you and just, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Try, try, charming. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tilda and Emu, um, the night's relatively uneventful. Um, I think you hear, like, maybe, maybe, like, Tilda during some of your watch, maybe you hear some, like, kind of weird creaky noises and, like, th- this doesn't seem like a very well-constructed building. It's a bit drafty and doesn't feel great. I think I just spent my trance, like, getting used to all the natural noises of the, the place. Mm-hmm. And obviously, um, making sure nobody shaves me. That mostly. Yeah. Um, I think maybe as um, Emu's starting to like wake up, Tilda, you hear maybe um, from like across the hall, maybe like a, a kind of like snappy noise that hasn't occurred. Like there's been the know, lobsters maybe, are coming. The lobsters are coming. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's like maybe like a wee snapping noise, like from like further down the hall that maybe kind of well, I, I don't so know how snapping you... yeah I was gonna say snapping noise like leather snapping against leather like some other people have rented you know, their like for a... private reasons or like, you know like a, like a wood stations. splintery noise okay like wood breaking yeah you know right, okay. if, but like um but it doesn't sound like a big, you know, like a, like a, a support beam has just caved in and, you know, everyone's about to be crushed by a building or something. You know, I wouldn't do that, you know. Yeah. Does it sound like Ovex tried to sit in a chair? And maybe, or... maybe maybe Ovex just sort of rolled over a little bit and, you know, um, landed on the supply of, like, tables. And... Yeah. Um, I think then as I hear Emu wake up, I think as I'm sat, kind of tranced, like kind of cross-legged on the, the kind of the floor of the room as she's on the bed, I think uh, you hear her stirring and she gets up and you just hear <laughs> as I just make uh, snoring yeah. noises just to obviously uh, add comedy effect to that previous insult. Um, and then I think I hear the snapping noise and I think that maybe just like my eyes open at that. And they've, they've got like this, the tiniest slight green tint to them as it fades back to the amber colour of her eyes. And then she, uh, as if they were focusing. And then she looks at kind of, I guess, what direction did it come from? Like, based on where my room is? So if your room's um, kind of like, let's say like in the in the, the corner, in like the, the leftmost corner, um, it goes like, and you like leave your room, the corridor goes down to the left. Um, to the right, sorry. Um, and it comes like from like that sort of direction down, like the right corner. Does Emu hear this as well, and are they reacting to it? I mean, uh, I feel like if if Emu's just waking up, they probably w- would be able to hear it. Um, whether or not Emu instantly goes, ah, this is a. Because I like the idea of the scene of like Emu waking up and then seeing me trancing and then be like as a joke and then whatever emus reply to that is then both of that kind of that moment being broken by the, the snapping noise yeah um and yeah it's definitely probably like maybe not loud enough but it's like at that sort of frequency where it does sort of cut through who's sleeping in that area do i know which one of our guys is sleeping there or none uh, of our so guys? Your, your guys are like maybe you're you're on one side the other two are on the other side Um, maybe talk jar's room is um like a couple doors down from you, probably towards the right as well. And um, so, I think Talk Jar's room's two seconds closest to that like direction. Um, and the other two are probably yeah across across the the hallway. Ovex. Sorry, I missed all that. I was had to okay. be. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I was just saying, uh, Talk Jar's probably room is probably the closest to that direction, maybe a couple doors down from you. Um, the other two are across the hall, maybe Gorham's room is... So I'll start heading that way and you can skip back to me whenever it's relevant. Yeah. No, I was just going to jump ju- jump to Alvec and see yeah, like, you, Alvec, you yeah. kind of like wake up and um, the the sort of storage room's a bit cold. Maybe um, the, the barkeep's kind of walked in and he's like pottering around, picking up some stuff. Uh, maybe forgetting that you were there. Um, probably as you wake up, he get, gets a fright as you you kind of stir in your mm. 
your, your little bed patch. Hello. Um, uh, good, 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 good morning, sir. Good morning. <clears throat> I sort of get up, gather up whatever crap I have, sling over my shoulder and uh, walk back into the, the bar area, ready yeah. to get some breakfast. Yeah, uh, I think um, you know a couple of like there's maybe a, there was maybe a couple of residents staying there as well. Um, I think you're the first one to kind of go in from um, from the, the the group. Um, so you see like none none of your groups there, but there's a couple of residents in, um, and there seems to be like quite a few of just like the townsfolk in for like a breakfast. Um, it seems quite busy. Uh, do you just go and sit at a table or? A, uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit at a table as much in the corner as I can. Yeah, I think that um, table that you you originally sat at, um, or the one that Top Jar originally sat at before, um, yeah. like right up against the 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 back corner, is um, free, and you you kind of just sit into there. Um, and are you just kind of like watching the the world go round? As um, I'll just wait for a a waitress or a barmaid to come in take my order I guess and when they come over I say uh, give me all the bacon and eggs you have good reference <laughs> thanks um, I, I think I think instead of like even saying anything it's uh, the the sort of like waitress would be just go give you a nod and be like mm, yep and then just run off and so <laughs> just the, no, no, bacon no I think kitchen. you misheard me I didn't say bring me a lot of eggs and bacon I said bring me all of the eggs and bacon that you have <laughs> yes indeed um, Glad yeah, somebody uh, got that reference. Um, speaking of which, Dig Doglio and Gorm, I think you wake up at the same time. Um, After uh, the snap. Post snap. Um, <laughs> Five years later. You need the sandwich. Post snap nap. <laughs> Post snap nap. Um, uh, Dig Doglio, you wake up. How are we feeling? This fine morning. Feel, feeling a bit weird. Feel, feeling a bit weird. Might 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 drink a bit much because that dry really... though. Oh yes, yes, yes. Completely dry. Not on yep. fire though. Not on, no. not on fire. Mind. <laughs> no. Anyway. Not on fire. So so pretty much yeah. just, just just think to myself, I'm gonna go down to the bar and have myself an egg, egg and bacon sandwich. It's gonna be awkward. <laughs> be real awkward. Um, Cause all the eggs are gone to Ovik. <laughs> Uh, I think I. Well, can I can I feel Gaia just now? Or... Uh, yeah. So as you as you kind of wake up, you I think I think it's not immediate. Um, you you kind of wake up and then you still feel that cold emptiness and it sort of like slowly returns, kind of like you know how like a candle. Um, if you if you like have a cup over a candle and then lift it up, it like the flame gets like brighter. Kind of like that. Um, it kind of swells back up, um, and you you feel that warmth again. Um, I think I just uh, chalk it all up to a come come down, having been tripping balls not so long ago, and be like that's that's very weird. And then stand up and uh, give a very large stretch, the way like cats do when they like bend backwards. And then, Yawn. The and first I'll night like... sleeping as a cat, man, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I like pounce down the stairs, like not not walk, like literally, literally pounce. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll let you pounce. Potentially narrowly missing a, a barmaid. And uh, yeah, I think maybe um like. Dig Dog Leo's like kind of just at the top of the stairs and you just kind of like run past him and pounce. If he's coming down the stairs, could I like wall mount the wall sideways, <laughs> jumping down speed? <laughs> Do you know what? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, coming to land and then noticing everyone else. Yeah, cool. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like it to be known that at this storage I do a very audible what the fuck? <laughs> Um, cool. Uh, Tilda, voice Tilda. Voice. <laughs> Could I then, you know, order eggs and bacon and get the very last eggs and bacon 
before they talk. We'll see. We'll come back to that uh, in a second. <laughs> Are we going to be doing initiative for breakfast? Yep. <laughs> so then, so then <laughs> um, So yeah, you have that moment of like, you know, joking and snoring, and then that snap comes, and you you both maybe kind of. Um, are are more alert, and they're you know, till they sort of snaps out of it, and uh, maybe that's like what kind of gets you past that um stage of kind of like you wake up, you're a bit groggy, and the snap kind of takes you fully into reality. Maybe, you may. Uh yeah, and if if Tilda's starting to walk after I'll definitely follow her. Yep, definitely walking after it. Heading to like the rooms where I think it came from. Yeah, um I think um as you kind of like walk walk towards those the those rooms, maybe you, you, you walk past um the you walk past, you know, Dick Dog Bill's room, uh Gorm's room. Uh, and then you know walk past talk jar's room and then you know you know when there's like a high-pitched like beeping noise in your room and you can't quite locate where it's coming from yes and and, and you're like you're going up to every device kind of listening to it um for this this sound and then you're not quite sure whether or not it's actually there um it, it you, you kind of get that sort of feeling with it like you were like super sure of where the snapping noise came from but as you kind of like walked out of your room, you you kind of like lose the the sort of sure spatial awareness of of where the sound came from in your in your head, and you kind of get maybe a couple doors down, and then realize it's uh, it might have been this room, it might have been down the hall, it might have been here. I just knock on Tom Shar's room. Yeah, um, as as you knock on Talk Jar's room, uh, you, you there's no response. Racial profiling, much? Uh, yeah, and then I knock on the the door again, ever so slightly, and I say, "It's Tilda. Be decent," and try and walk in. Cool. Yeah, the door the door just kind of opens. Um, you see Talk Jar. He's kind of there. Um kneeling at the 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 foot of his bed kind of facing facing the wall in a sort of praying praying pose then he's, he's... is anything praying on him currently or is he busy yeah uh, he's he just looks like he's praying um, at the side i'll of just bed. leave again it's fine yeah there as long as i know to, that there doesn't seem to be like he didn't a, look dead he didn't look like he was being attacked he didn't look like he'd run away he wasn't impaled with the spear again no i never no, checked sure. for that actually callum can i check <laughs> You can. Uh, you you have a quick scan around. Maybe you like turn around and go. Oh wait, the spear, um, and <laughs> look back. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's there's no spear. He just seems to be at the foot of his bed praying. Um, I think I'll just leave him too. I wouldn't interrupt that. Yeah. Yeah. That's his own time. I guess I'll just turn back to Emu, who's possibly closer than I expected him to be at this point now. And go. Shall we join the others? And just kind of like passively smile. Are you certain that is where the noise came from? Now, is your implication talk jar's room? Or do you mean because I mentioned downstairs to the Yes, list? yeah, talk jar. I, I think as like the door clicks shut, I want that to close it behind me gently. I go, he seems to be busy praying. I didn't notice anything broken in the room. Uh, do you want to check the other rooms? And I kind of give you like a, shall we do that? Look. I fear that it might be prudent. I am somewhat unsettled by what's at first. Okay. Then Did obviously I calm. I hate towns. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. I, I think every time we visited on our travels together. Yes, you've, you've made note of it. Um, I'm just going to laugh that off a little. <laughs> and uh, uh, then we Scooby Doo through every room, I guess. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, it's like I think maybe you you, you start with like the room net, like across from top jars, and, then and the I, I will knock to... on them. Like I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. knock, like 
in the sense of if somebody was sleeping, it wouldn't wake them, right? Uh huh. You know, but if somebody was awake, they'd hear it. Yeah, I think um maybe the one across from Talk Jar is like a, a just like a gentleman like comes to the door. He looks a bit, you know, worse for wear, hungover. Um, like he kind of like half half eyes open, um, squinting at you as he opens the door, going, "Ah, uh, what?" Good morning. You asked for a wake up call. Uh, that's f- wait, what? Oh. Enjoy your day, and I'll walk away. Uh, and then I think like the door. He doesn't closed. look stabbed by a spear or anything, does he? No, he he looks very yeah. just as I would answer the door after a night out. <laughs> I'm looking like past people to see if I can see anything noticeably broken. Yeah, I, I assume well, yeah. you would be. Yeah. yeah. It's not just um, seeing the, the thing. I think, um, you know, you go through a couple rooms um, and you get to, like, two doors down from Talk Jars. Um, you do your, you know, obviously you, you knock lightly, open the door, the door just opens. Um, inside the room's an absolute tip. Mm-hmm. It's it, it looks like um, someone's just, like, gone thoroughly through the place to either, like, look for something or... Um, find well yeah find something or um it doesn't look like someone's had a fight it looks like someone's gone through everything um and the place has been turned over yeah and um there's like in the like the left wall um there's there's just like a one of the one of the panels is like snapped into like the the side into like the in between walls um it looks like the adjoining walls yeah. There's a broken panel between the adjoining walls. Yes. Where, whose room is that that goes that goes to? Uh, you you wouldn't know. You'd need to. Didn't I pass it on the way? Hmm. To get to here, didn't I pass that room to get to here though? Yeah, but it's just they're just numbered. It's not like this is. But who was in it? Obviously, I knocked on every door. Well, no, no one's no one's in it. Is is the the point? So the one we're looking at is yes. the one that's been trashed but the door where that panel goes through what happened when i had knocked on that door previous to this door does that make sense so when you knocked on the is door it... there was no answer and then when you open okay. the door it's yep. trashed and it's yes but you said it went, the panel goes to another room so have i not checked no that no, other no 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 yeah. sorry sorry right no. right okay right yes, okay. i see i see where the confusion no no it's like the, the panel cool. on the wall is like you know the like if you think of how it's set up draw like this. if you went if you went if it's over easier. you know draw, yes draw, I will draw yeah cuz yeah. i don't understand what you're describing yes, that's fine too, cool too, too, too many lefts and rights for my brain to hold right room door <laughs> i don't need the room i need the floor i don't know what what where i'm going like the room makes sense where it is in conjunction to where I've been doesn't. Ah, okay, right, right. Okay, I see. I get you. Oh, jeez. Right, I'll just freehand it. Cool. Right. So I'll say those the stairs down to breakfast. Cool. Stairs to breakfast. Cool. So if you're in this room. Okay. Uh, we'll say um, Dig Doglio and Gorm are in these rooms. Cool. And um, we'll give you a space. Talk jar. Um, the the room across from Talkshar with Drunk Man. Cool. Um, say um, just random empty room. Cool. Um, empty room. Maybe you spoke to someone on the side. Um, cool. Trashed room. Right. Okay. Cool. So I've right. not been to the room yet. No. Okay. Um. Oh, I mean, assuming you, you went like a systematic thingy like that, if you did like, I mean, yeah, I have no idea how we checked it. We just checked the rooms. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's particularly important. But like, Emu, can you help me investigate this place for clues? Ideally, I don't mind if we have to roll perception to find clues or investigate. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I'm happy to take the time to like look at everything. Yes, I would like to know more about what's happened here myself. Amy, what's your intelligence modifier if you had to gauge it from a numerical value? If I had to put a numerical value, I'd say one. Mm, yes, mm, good. Would you like to roll with advantage? 
Ovex is broken. Um, yeah, oh, Ovex looking just... at that, I'm... Ovex doesn't have um... to do anything. It's fine. It doesn't have intelligence. It's <laughs> unquantifiable. <laughs> Fifteen character <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> uh, Yeah, can you roll with advantage for me then? Um, uh, on investigation. Perception. Or investigate. Inside. It's 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 perception or investigate, depending on what Callum wants us to roll. Um, I'd say I'd say investigate if you're looking like specifically at like the mm -hmm. broken like hole in the thingy. If you're just wanting to get yeah. like a rundown of the room, then. Nah, I think I've noticed that already. That's yeah. the rundown's I mean... fine. So yeah, investigate. Oh, nice. Nice. So yeah, um, as you're kind of like looking, you go like towards the. Like the little like broken panel in the the wall and you see like the the walls are like doubled up um so it's like like drywall yeah so it's like or wet wall or whatever it's called yeah so if i re re get rid of that drawing because wet wally it's very fishy <laughs> um yeah so if you you know imagine that's the room that's the broken bit that would be the next room um, and it kind of carries on around the back so even though like the window um, is actually like a window here and a window there and like space mm -hmm. um, and that seems to just so all the rooms seem to be their own standalone little roomy doodads like that that makes that's sense shift, that's shifty as fuck that's what that is Insulation gap. Shifty as fuck. Could someone um like sneak in between use it as a passageway between So yeah, them? if if someone was like uh you know, like maybe maybe a, a shorter, like slimmer person would would be able to slide through in between the gaps. Um like a small man. Talk is notably chunky. <laughs> just just for um <laughs> But there is a squeezing rule in D and D, so it means he probably could get in it. I mean, yeah, he probably could. How? how, how what's, what's the D and D squeezing rule? It's um, you can just like fit into a gap. You move like half your speed in the gap, and it gives you like disadvantage on attack rolls and shit like that. And I think people get advantage on attack rolls on you. Um, it's interesting. Squeezing into a smaller space is what it's called. It's somewhere in you know. Some rule somewhere. Uh, I'll dump it in Discord. There for oh. now. So it means that me as a medium creature could try and cram into somewhere a small creature could get into. Yeah. So like mechanically, this would be like that. It would be a, a small creature could run through there. Um, but you'd have to squeeze That's... through. Horrible. So it looks like somebody's broken through this way. Like, does it look like they could have climbed through the gap that's been made? Uh, yeah, it looks like they've they've either used they've used this as kind of like an entrance and an exit. Um, Has anything been left behind? Uh, does it look like the place was tipped over in an order? Like, are there things underneath other things? So, if there was a bookcase tipped over first, then a bed sheet. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what was so like, the, yeah, like, the like, let's like the, I'd say like the the little like small book stand would have been ripped out first, so there'll be books like a few books strewn on the floor, and then. So I'm obviously like, trying to work out what they went for first. Yeah, um, so they went uh, it's the the book stand first, then the knocked over, the book stand, then like the the sheets, then the mattress, then the bed is actually tipped up on its side as well. Um, and then maybe there's like, you know, like maybe some like scratch marks on the floor where, where people you would you would test for like loose panels or something like that for something. Um. So there's scratch marks on the wall as if the person didn't know where the panel was to get out. No, 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 no. Um, like on like on the floor to see if like. Ah, yeah, like or, if already like... like a floorboard loose or something where there was. Um. Mm. I think I just turn to Emu and he's gonna like look at you as if what the fuck? Um 
and then kind of nod through the wall as if shall we look next door or do we start squeezing through the fucking walls the noise we heard would not have caused this damage I fear I agree. we may have come on upon something something else hmm But I agree, we should investigate the next room. Right, so, okay, yeah. out of character, Callum, Yo. how difficult would it be to run and smash through the hole into the next room from here, like a breach tactic? Um, for Tilda? Mm. Pretty hard. <laughs> For no, someone just like... for anyone, <laughs> just a generic <laughs> difficulty for how difficult that is. Not for t don't you yeah, for Tilda, Tilda. That'd be pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you had someone like Ovik, like running into the the door, I, you know what? Like the the general construction of this building doesn't like seem great, and I think your your time last last night showed that with all the creaking and the thingy. So yeah, it would it would take maybe if I was to put a numerical value on it. Yeah. Like, maybe maybe something like a, a thirteen or a. So not mm. impossible for not Tilda, impossible just for Tilda. likely, oh, just quite <laughs> unlikely. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So hmm. I think I weigh that up, and obviously look at Emu. Don't say anything. Probably don't even look at Emu to get Emu's attention. I just think about that because Emu's probably going to be better at that than I would be. If and then I just people run at the same time, perhaps. So my plan would be to go in the other door though at the same time. Mm. And pincer maneuver for this lobster. So snip snip. Yeah, right. I I think I just say, yes, yeah, so let's investigate next door. And I dismiss thoughts of heroic action movies. And then uh, I guess go knock on the door gently. Next door. I mean just out of character. <laughs> um the thought of like um monk unarmed strike trying to like <laughs> Hmm? And punch through the wall <laughs> and very likely just breaking my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe not. You'd be fine. Your hands are weapons. They're weaponized. Um, <laughs> Got a point. Yeah. Could you breach from the floor above? You're on the I mean, top floor. I mean, there's if a you roof. You breach from the roof. Yeah. 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 If you wished. I don't wish, no. It just means there's also an asset. Like criminal damage then. If I was a, a barbarian, I would be way more action movie than I am going to be with her. Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to just head to the door and say, say, next door then, and obviously do the same chap on the door and whatnot. I'm not going to do a tiny whammy circle a portal to the next room. Don't have that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, like as, as you knock on the door, um, I think the door opens and this kind of, you know, kind of frail looking old, old woman. It's a witch! <laughs> opens the go door and goes, I, I don't remember ordering a wake up call. That's why you order a wake up call, so we can remind you. And they just smile. And I think she, she kind of looks up to the ceiling and, um, you know, kind of plays with her teeth a little bit, um, and um, and uh, just looks back to you and goes, "I suppose you're right, dear. Would you like a mint humbug?" I think there's just this scene where I'm still a like customer service smile, but I think in my head there's just horror screaming soundtracks, uh, because that's creepy as fuck. And, um, did you happen to be disturbed by any noises at all, either during the night or, in fact, before I knocked on your door? You have to speak up, dear. Perfect. She, Thank you. And she, she like, holds her, holds her ear out. Ew. No, you can, keep that. <laughs> she puts it back is, on Is her there head. any way we can, like, see, uh, try and determine if she's putting it on? Or if, Insight. You, know, you certainly can. Yeah. Can I help with this as well? You definitely, yeah. definitely can. Please. How good is your insight, Mr. Insight? Uh, decent, actually. Insight? Uh, scale yeah. of 1 to 3, mine's is a 3. So. Uh, 
is yours equally as he? Mm. Okay. No, I see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think she's she's definitely putting on an act of nice little old lady, as nice little old ladies tend to do when when dealing with the younger folk. You might think that maybe she's a. So is she playing up? Is she lying to us? She's not. She's not uh, particularly lying to you about um, hearing anything weird or strange or disturbed in the night. But she's she's just putting on her. She's, her her so. little old lady routine is a facade. Okay, but she doesn't seem like I'm a secret necromancer going to ship. No, you. yeah, she's, it's she's very like, much just I'm being polite. Yeah, um, and there's you know there's no like blood circles on the floor in her room or anything, and she's not like you know hiding like a blood stained arm behind her back or anything like that. Okay, mm. that that seems like I'm happy with that, and leave her to it and make sure she goes back inside. I guess and closes the door. Make sure she takes her ear with her. The ear follows you. Yeah, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were a van god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> right in the pun. Um, <laughs> moving swiftly onwards. Breakfast yeah. team. <laughs> yes, but do I get my bacon and eggs? Well, uh, can, we, well can we roll breakfast of initiative? It, whoever gets the highest. So click on your tokens and roll roll in your Fuck. I was roll here it. first. God damn it. You can roll with advantage because you're here first. Wait, wait, how do you roll initiative again? Sorry. I do not want to get initiative uh, advantage, it's, but here we go. It's on the ah. Oh, got it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 I'll give I'll give you your seven. Oh, God. Okay. To be fair, that does make sense in the story because Gorm's the celebrity along with me here. So yeah. um, I so also I... used my dash action. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So I think you know, as as you kind of order all the all the what was it, sausage and eggs, bacon and eggs, whatever you said. I eggs. don't know the reference. <laughs> um. Yeah, um... Not fucking Swanson. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Parks and Rec. Yeah, Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually watched a lot of Parks and Rec, so... I've watched, like, season one of that. It's very good. Yeah, really I've, watched all of it. I've only it's seen one episode, um, and it's, like, in the middle oh. of a season. Mm. I don't know what season it is. Delicious. May I have another? Um, so, yes, uh, as as you kind of order all the, the bacon and eggs, you... Um, this is kind of when Dig Dog Leo and Gorm make their grand entrances into the into the, the sort of main main area and um, I think like straight away like one of the serving staff just goes straight to Gorm as he bounces down the stairs and um, like is like eager to take their order um, taking note of everything um, what, what, what did you order again uh, Gorm? Um, I just hand her a big sack of gold, maybe <laughs> enough enough to buy all the food. And uh, <laughs> in my mind, like I hear Dig Dog getting up, and then I get up with still with sleep in my eye, and I use my dash action like to backseat speed, and on all fours run down the stairs, mounting like... the walls as I'm running down as fast as I can, and I just yeah, get you fucking race past me. Yeah, and then. I... She nice sees job. me pounce the down the stairs on all fours. <laughs> and, I think uh, maybe you I get just... like a round of applause at that as well from the the thing. And you know, like some of the some of the people who saw your performance the the previous day, and go, ah, oh, a, a musician and an acrobat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just uh, hand her a, a bag of gold equal to enough to bury on the breakfast. Equal to enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, it's, it's Mark, Mark, um, Mark, enough gold off. Um, <laughs> however much all the breakfast is. <laughs> cool. Uh, I don't know, maybe, like, how much gold have you got? And then, like, 1% <laughs> of that. Uh, I have 48. So, uh, Wait, 48? 
Sure, so eight gold. I'll Forty-seven do. gold and fifty-two pieces. Anyway, yeah. So like, she runs off and Who's like. Who's taking a calculator? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, um, I heard like the sound of like the plastic coming off on the bottom. No, I just turned the page in the player handbook. Oh. <laughs> 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 Depends. What would you say the quality of meals are per day here, Callum? Squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy, aristocratic. Modest. Modest. So three silver pieces for a meal per day times the amount of people that would be here times how many uh, of the stock they'd have and then go from there. So I think they'd probably have like a week's worth of stock. Um, maybe or... not a full week, like four days. How many people can they feed a day? breakfast specifically. Uh, they can feed probably like the, the tabling they can seat about maybe 20 so they can probably feed 21 just a times bit, 20 bit over well no they'll be able to feed over that because they don't want to like run out of food and um, you know multiple courses and whatnot so if we say about well, um, seven times three, 60 which is a week and, uh, so they can probably feed about 60. a week in D, D is 10 days oh. and it's called a 10 day not a week oh 10 day i didn't know that yeah. yep it's because every month is three 10 days Surely that's specific to one world. It, I mean, in the D and D world, yeah, I have no idea yes. where we are, but yeah, who knows? Three that's why I say it's technically times <laughs> sixty. Yeah, fuck it. I give I give them eighteen hundred silver pieces. So eighteen gold. Eighteen gold. Eighteen gold. Oh wait, eighteen hundred. Sorry, that's um, one hundred and eighty gold. One hundred and eighty gold. Is it? Oh yeah, because yeah. it's ten per dun. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I think um, that like at that point the the person's trying to do like the calculation like the stock guys come out they're, um, they're advocates uh, and they're, they're they're kind of discussing like how much is all our stock worth <laughs> plus obviously like well we bought it at this so you know we need to charge this to make money off it um, do I see them doing this in the like from the corner after I've ordered my bacon and eggs. And like, th I think the the person who's like who took your order didn't even make it to like the kitchen. She's like caught up in this like kerfuffle of working out when. Uh, yeah, because they had to borrow her hands and like her fingers to count as well. Obviously, yeah. and I cough so. loudly. <laughs> Could I just then noticing that it's well beyond my means to pay, um, sidetrack and then just say, "I'll take everything on the hob right now." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So I think let, let's say for argument's sake that's um Camera cuts Maybe. to a hobgoblin covered in eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Why you do this to me? I did nothing. I did nothing. Is that your hobgoblin accent? Please that's keep my... that for the rest of the game. That is the hobgoblin accent. <laughs> goblet. 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 Oh. Um <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um the <laughs> So that comes to like um six gold pieces. Okay. For for everything that's kind of like being like ready to just about ready to go, um which is a, I'd say enough for like more, ev at least everyone who is in the in the 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 bar anyway. A little bit large. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Ovik that that happens in front of you and dig doglio you see all this as well um what's what's dig doglio's what's dig doglio's order I well no what's what did dig doglio think of all this <laughs> nonsense it's just what do i think of it well observing from the stairs i just stand there and think to myself and, and maybe say audibly under my breath what a dick <laughs> i take no notice <laughs> um that is fair. Uh, Tilda and Emu, are you? Uh, well, Where if are we're you? back up at us, we're still outside that old woman's room, right? Yes, you are. So I very quietly say to Emu, okay, I don't know, I roll my eyes before I even say it. I go to say it, roll my eyes, and then the dogs that they scream, and then I say, Are we even contemplating crawling between the walls? You are quite. Um, slight and nimble, I'm sure. As soon as you say that, like her, 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 her eyes just narrow at you. <laughs> the amber goes a tiny bit green, and she's like, "Uh huh." Just sort of gesture to my my quarterstaff and be like, 
I, I'm not sure that, uh, y you know, I, I'm sure you will. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to find out after you, my dear. And uh, I just, I go to like, just take the quarterstaff from you. Like, I don't, not forcefully, just in that kind of, you don't need to hold on to this. <laughs> Unless you stop me, obviously, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be one-sided if you do. Um, I mean, I, I keep hold of it. Um, and... We will we will see and head over to the, the hole in the wall. I think like, I'll let go of this as you walk away from me, then. And I, I think I'll just say, We could always ask the cat. Could, whilst you're having this conversation, be like roughly the same point you see me like fly down the stairs at full speed? Oh, I think this is way after that, right? I think this is like it... this will probably be like at the point where um, I think you have use, use probably like just finished doing maths and maybe oh, okay. gone to sit down in the sort of timeline of, of things. Mm. And yeah, if Emu's headed back, and I guess I'll just go back and then investigate the hole, I guess. Yep. That's what I said. I'm saying nothing. Well, uh, I'm not saying nothing, obviously, but I'm not I'm not, I'm not falling into yeah. your trap. Not trap. Well, I'll go um, stick my head right up to the hole. Mm -hmm. Sort of appear inside. And you have dark vision, right? As like a half elf, so Yes. What do you see in there? So, what do your elf eyes see? What do you see? What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you kind of like poke your head in, um, maybe kind of look look left and right, you see that um, obviously it kind of stops at the the side the door is on, but it goes round. You can see like the the, the way it corners off to to the right, um, but it doesn't. There seems to be like a bit of um, maybe like plastered over wall that goes to the left which is the side of the little old lady's room and um, so only really it only turns to the to the right towards back up towards the direction of your rooms um. mm. and then a hobgoblin jumps out i mean that's not what you're talking about you know Covered in egg. Covered in egg. So, obviously, Moose sees all this. Um, yeah, and I relay that to <laughs> Tilda. What's to the right if the left is blocked? Slowly applying pressure to your back. Jokers. <laughs> 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 um. I guess I sort of um, lean back out and just um, pop my staff next to the the, the hole, and um... <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> um, and just sort of like gesture to you, like, "Are you sure you do not want to um, have a quick nip to see?" I. Would love a quick nip. However, I will be in straight after you to watch oh, your sorry. back, just in case anyone sneaks up on us. No and I just like <laughs> they scream, obviously. <laughs> just um, doesn't sort of mutter under your breath, sussers. Climb into the, the hole to, to yep. try and go that way. Cool. Um, as you kind of like squeeze in um, the like the the wood's quite splintery and horrible on this side like the, on the inside of like each of the rooms the it looks like it's kind of you know been like sanded down and like varnished and nice this is just like the other side is completely like untreated and a bit scabby looking um, and as you kind of like scooch so do you scooch down towards the the, the right to to Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so as you kind of, like, scooch down, you see it, like, the, that, that 
sort of passage goes d right down the, the whole length of, or what you assume is the whole length of the, the building, other than towards that little old lady's room. Um, uh, and I, you can see, you know, the windows are like a window and then another window and, you know, the gap. Um, not to be confused with that uh, time period before Starfinder. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously. Um, and yeah, uh, it, it just seems to make take like the whole length of the room and, you know, uh, offshoots to the to the right as well for like so, down each side all right so i'm gonna start tapping the wall where i think emu is from in the room so that she can tap back like how far she's got in the wall and i want to see if obviously the the idea behind this is is there anything strange that correlates within there within the room like you know weaker panels secret doors other things like that okay know? yeah yeah so we Marco Polo the shit out of this. That's fine. Uh, roll Marco Poloing. Um. Marco. Uh, Polo. Polo. <laughs> Good enough. Success. <laughs> Move up. Um, yeah. So as you kind of like do that, I think there's there's maybe like um, as you as you kind of like tap along, um, you get to uh, a point in like the far right of the room where the bed like was um and that like that panel is like as as you like tap on it till the 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 panel shakes a little bit and then as ibu maybe taps back it moves quite substantially um and it's kind of like a little half a little half panel parts moving as if it's it's not like it's it's broken off it's as if it's designed to move designed to move like that um kind of like a one way flap um cool can it be like pried open uh yeah sure like you know you, you could you, like you, you could just use bits of like whatever's lying around anyway i have a dagger i could just you could pry use a dagger open. yeah like... pry open and yeah it flaps <laughs> i don't know what else i'm going to use the dagger for right because it's not like i'm going to stab people with it so that's true I'm um, use it as a tool you might honestly probably not like it's um I'd probably be dead by that point. Exactly. Oh, well, that's so. true. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as you as you like peel it and it like flaps um inwards towards you up the way. So like from the floor. Like a cat flap. Yeah, like a cat flap. Um Meow. inwards Tag towards door. you. And <laughs> uh, you see like um you know I think it, his, if I see legs his there. Face, I was like, Ta da mm -hmm. I say into the, the gap. Emu says to die back. I'm just, I'm just uh, under my breath. Oh, I'll be right behind you. I'll follow you into the hole. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I never said when I'd be right behind you. <laughs> well, Time's a tricky that. concept. Typical you know? sorcerer is not getting their hands dirty. Time so... is like a river. This was more of a swimming pool situation. A hot tub, if you will. Okay? There you go. My That's what we're at. question to you is did anyone close the door when they came in no <laughs> Emu, let the door open. can can i just ask did, had we finished checking all the rooms or was there any rooms that we hadn't got to? Uh, i mean there there would be like a room across from a little old lady but other than that um okay i'd have said you would have like at least knocked and seen that the room was like just like so poked mostly. your head in and you know seen nothing was obviously broken yeah until this no I'd, I'd really thought like literally as he or as she had put her staff down i was tempted to jam the staff in so i thought no because if i need somebody to come in and rescue us i don't want that to be a problem so uh -huh. i didn't i am um, but it's not like i'm in any way disabled right from being able to look like i think i'd notice this when they walked in the door yeah yeah so. yeah um, and you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there's a kind of reasonably sized, like, burly man standing in the doorway going, what, 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 what are you doing? Articulating, my dear. <laughs> and just leave him to think about that word for a bit. He does. He, he sits there. He like stands there even. Kind of looks at you blankly for a while. 
and like you know tries out the words in his like like silently um maybe you know it's the first time he's ever heard it or no what 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 why what 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 happened what happened in here i tap the wall obviously so that emu is aware this is happening even though i assume she is and then i well he's still confused about the word i see i was passing down for breakfast and noticed this room had been well quite frankly trashed is this your handiwork is this how you treat this establishment I, I think he goes like bright red at that point he's like i will never 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 there's no need for anger sir i'm only asking a question this can be as pleasant as you wish it to be i take great pride in my work here as is this caretaker. your work and a gesture to the floor <laughs> i am the caretaker of this fine establishment and i have just seen you in this room it's it's trashed. What 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 did you what what what, what, what did you do? And his face goes bright red again. Yes, as I said, I walked past the room, noticed it was indeed trashed, and stepped in to make sure nobody was injured in this fine establishment. This could have been lots of insurance money. You're lucky no one was hurt. You're the caretaker, so you're the one responsible for the safety of the guests here. And do you want to per- persuade? Persuad. Uh, not Persuade. really, but okay. Um, <laughs> Sounds a bit Uh Yeah, cool. Damn it. Um, I think he would Arguably, just... it would be intimidation, but it's the same bonus, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I mean, you could, yeah, you could have um, intimidated. It's the same I... bonus, it wouldn't make a difference. Okay, I would yeah, still have got fine. this number. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, think, I think he just kind of stands up and goes, don't. <laughs> Don't you, don't you move from that spot? And he like closes the door and locks it. Um, and I think I take a you step. You hear him stomp off. Um, and I think uh, he stomps off like down the stairs, and everyone else downstairs. And you see this reasonably sized burly man stomping down the stairs with this bright red look on his face, and he goes up to the into the into the the back, and you hear raised voices talking about trash. See before like just before like he gets too far off he's like going to the door and locking it and stuff like that. I assume there's like a keyhole you can see through then if yeah, it's yeah, lockable yeah. from both sides. It's like right okay. I think I'll say back to the wall. Emu darling, um can you find a way out from where you are? Not back the way, perhaps. Perhaps I I think so, but was there something in the the compartment? Did you find anything? You were in the compartment, my dear. Um, it was a panel oh, sorry, to you. Out of character. The the flap that she opened. That yes. led to you. No, that was straight into me. Ah, I see. Right, right. That's why I said ta-da when I poked <laughs> my head in. <laughs> and then he came in behind us. Um, so, yeah. So I thought that was a compartment. Okay. Uh, I Do think so. I will to attempt to find a, an alternate route. Pick up my staff if you leave. I mean, I could probably just jam it in the flap for you, really. Because you might need it to poke whatever exit you need out. Uh, it's up well, to you. Is is there space cam? <laughs> yeah, you can you can you can poke the, the, the staff up and you can you can shimmy along with the staff if you wish. Okay. Would you I'm like not, your I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know, drive a man of a walk, walking stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Pass it to me quickly. I will attempt to uh, uh, exit here with, without... Yes, I'm locked in this room, so if you could find a way out, that would be grand. Um, we are we are being blamed for the state of the room, of course. Of course. By we, I mean Don't mostly worry, me. I will find a way. Perfect. I am, I'm counting on you as always. <laughs> Aha. <I know. laughs> cool. Uh, breakfast team. Um... So yeah, you you see Hello. the um, the the burly man go off and run into the the back, and you hear raised vo- voices about trash rooms and. No, like. Do we know what it's all about? When Mr. Filch is like running down the corridor, like going like students out of bed. Yes, just like exactly that. Like except, that. imagine it was Hagrid. Okay. 
Hmm. But not quite as big as Hagrid, so that was a bad comparison. <laughs> Little Hagrid. Um, but yeah, Bad. so that that sort of happens, and then um, as as that happens, like a, a bunch of the staff leave the back room, including the people who are taking your orders. Can um, I step in front of the stairs before they get? To... Yeah, you can. Um, and uh, as 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 you do, um, you know, there's this kind of like line of people standing there, and this kind of bright faced. Um, maybe not quite as burly as you, but um... it's the person that's serving me with. Yes. Okay. So first thing I want to say is, where are you going? I, this is this is this is this is nothing to do with you. We've had an incident up the up the stairs. Please let me pass. This is very important. We've had a, a damage, irreparable damage to the din doors of our of our of our fine establishment here. And he like crosses gonna, his arms. To, like do that sort of thing that I usually do, where I just like put my hammer on the ground, relatively hard, sort of like lean down to his face and say, "Where are my bacon and eggs?" <laughs> I'd also <laughs> like to insist on bacon and eggs. Exclaiming, uh, "Can I do an intimidation check?" Money was taken. Order was accepted. I think one of the the serving people is like your order will be dealt with as soon as we've we've dealt with our our incident. That's not good. Uh, kind of intimidation. Yeah, That's what yes, I was trying you... to do. Oh God! You you well do you know can what? Can he assist um, me? In yes, writing? he can assist you in intimidation. What are you doing? Digger? It was such a nice tone once. <laughs> <laughs> Until the crying one week from there is the tones on fire. <laughs> I thought you fucking place my order. Yeah, I want to place my fucking order. They're, they're um, waiting on their orders. So yeah, but like yeah, what what are what are you doing, Dig Dog, to to assist uh, um to assist uh, Tilda. Well, like when for his intimidation. The... So like, what, how are yeah, you like, intimidating like, everyone? Well, when the guy scurries away from Ovek, I'm just going to step in front and also put my great axe on the floor in front of it, like to sort of just boom, put it down in front of me. <laughs> it's pretty much the exact same thing that he's just fucking done. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you and roll roll your intimidation with advantage. Um, <laughs> Oofed. Whew. Boom. So yeah, I think that was. Um, I think they were like pretty scared of you, um, and then all of a sudden, this this crazed um, half orc being um, runs in front of them as well and does like almost mirrors what you do with his great axe, and that's it. They just brick it. They're like, oh, oh my goodness, we're we are not paid enough for this. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, it's like a Brooklyn Nine Nine where they go into the pub. And it's like, oh, put the dog show on, and they, and they both smash bottles on the bar. Yes. Am I gonna get my fucking breakfast or what? <laughs> um, uh, I think I'd, I'd like to assist a persuasion check or do a persuasion check to uh, insist that whatever's going on upstairs, it will still be that way when you get upstairs after serving us our breakfast that I paid for. Yeah, you don't need to roll with that. They're all like thingy, but yeah, you you definitely say that, and I think um like half at least half of them like run into the kitchen and quickly try and like grab all the cooked food that's ready put dish it up and like run out with it and can like, i also place my order now um yes yes you can <laughs> i'd like 12 sausages and a pint please <laughs> um as yeah and you know that the pints like already been poured like as you said like the word p they were like right pint let's go that's been, that's been the word p the word like P, the letter P for pint. He goes uh, and a uh, and a uh, whoop. Yep, and there you go. It's like on the table, ready to go. And like this food has like this is the fastest food has ever been served in this place, <laughs> ever. The whole like no, bar is just covered in plates of 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 food. And um, uh, Gorm, one of the staff comes up to you and gives you um two gold back as kind of like, sorry for for inconveniencing you. Um, but we really need to go upstairs now. Um, I'm hoping that that saved some time and got enough time for those guys to get out of their predicament. Because I'm assuming it's them that's causing some problems upstairs. Could I, um, like, I don't know what role it would be, but could I, like, try and find out why they need to go upstairs? Like, what what is it that it's they're going to you could just ask them. I mean, yeah. Why do you well, need to go upstairs? something that's trashed. It's such a hurry. What's the problem? 
Um, I think I think um, the, the yeah the the caretaker would speak up and be like I I have found a person in a room completely destroyed the room they they she she just messed it up it's completely torn apart a vandalism of the highest degree <laughs> okay um, as he says that can I say uh, let me go take a look and I sort of like turn to walk up the stairs and my shoulders like bash against the walls and sort of cave them in slightly as I walk up the stairs. <laughs> I feel like I want you to like roll structural damage um, <laughs> of some description. Or roll a strength check or something. Intimidation um, against the building. Maybe just a... Uh... Oh, Ryan. What? What, what, would, what, would I, what would I get him to roll for uh, structural integrity as he like are you actively trying to because keep in mind it's just squeezing on a bigger scale so are you I am actually actively trying to cause a bit of damage because remember you are still regardless of what you try and do in terms of your size you're a medium creature yeah so you'll fit anywhere we can fit and like mechanically in the game so yeah. you would just, just like... be actively damaging the place so i guess some like yeah actively swinging your weapon would be attack rolls and then or athletics checks to like shoulder bash the place. Okay, to bits, so yeah, athletics then to, to shoulder bash yeah. the doobly do. Yeah, um, you do you do a decent like you don't you don't topple the building or anything with your your hulking frame, but you you definitely like just scrape like the 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 sort of finish of the the the, the walls going up the stairs. You know the paint and some of the the, the plasters come off. As you just kind of just storm up the stairs, and um, I think nice. the 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 guys who like they all just like stand there staring and then take a beat and then follow you up. Can I ask the haggard man why how he knows that the person that he found did the damage? If you'd seen a, a, a dead body and a person holding a bloody knife, would you say that 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 that, that, that would you would you be you would be sure that it was them? It was definitely that woman. And he like storms up up the stairs. Wow, that woman. Oh, if I oh, when I get words for him, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'll be hell to pay. Um, As we get up the stairs, I just sort of turn to them. Whilst they're still coming up the stairs, are sort of blocking the top of the stairs, saying which one. Um, I think like the, the the guy would just point to the. Are you taking the stairs one at a time to buy us more time as well? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, um, they they like point. They, I think he tells you the room number, like room. Okay. How much time have I saved, and what has um, Emu managed to do in this time? Well, that is an excellent question, and I will jump. How many to eggs Emu. do I have? <laughs> uh, well, seeing as like everyone apart from Dig Doglio and um, and British yeah, Forum have gone upstairs, yeah. like you've got like a whole, uh, as I said, like the whole bar is covered in like. Well, I know and... what Dig Dog's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is Dig Dog doing? Is he free well, bar? Oh, honestly, <laughs> I'm just now just avoiding this commotion and eating my sausages and drinking my pint and and dipping the sausages into the pint. Mm -hmm. Mm. And, and, and I'm pocketing one sausage for later. For later, yeah. Yeah. It's handy. Why pocket, pocket one when one you can egg. pocket two? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm only pocketing one. I intend on using it in combat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> I'll just skip to the uh, improvised weapons table. It's okay. I'll just bring that up just now. Carry on. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ryan. Yeah. So we we jumped to Emu in the. In the the sort of um, enclosed in between Space walls. Spaces. Yeah, they just start crawling through, trying to trying to get round to the sort of the next room. Yeah. So uh, as you come to like the end of the like this room, the, like the little flat little flap was like right in the corner of the room, and um, so what you've got is kind of you can go like keep going forward, and um, which takes you to the same kind of wall that's of the next room or you can go to the right which takes you down the side of the room in between the two rooms um i think keep going um to the to the next room yeah the way out <laughs> go to the way out whatever way that way is 
just enough, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you keep going um that way, um <laughs> as you kind of like <laughs> as you kind of um pass like the the next like window um like there, um you you kind of So do the rooms have like no light in them at all? No, so they've got a a window here and a window there. Right, okay. Like double glazing. Yeah, like double glazing, but it's pretty spaced out. Okay, cool. Primitive double glazing, yeah. It's fine. Works. Um that's that's how I got around that problem in my head. Um <laughs> Yeah, so as you kinda like um... Nope, sorry, go on. Uh, which room is that? Is that uh one with Let's say for argument's sake, that's the room that you were in. This is the trash room, okay? Um, yeah. So if you... Uh, um, and you were you were about here. Um, yeah. So if I and so if you carry on this way, um, you kind of like pass, you could you could like look into the room. Um, yeah. Or, and um, as you, like, if you look into the room, it's exactly the same as when you looked in and there was no one in it. And it just looks like a room. Um, but as you kind of like pass here, um, maybe you're like, like doing the same thing, tapping on the, the walls to see if they're the same. And sure enough, there's the the same um, flap type thing in this room as well. And there's definitely no one in this room. Uh, yeah, that was one of the 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 yeah. empty rooms. Yeah. Okay. Well, then can I crawl through the the flap into? Yeah, so as you're trying to push on the flap, the the bed is in the way. Um, so you you'd need to give like a, a like maybe an athletics or something to kind of push the bed as well as the flap. Um, just cause as you're trying to kind of you know it's maybe a bit of an awkward angle. You can't really get like good force on it. So you can. You can um, can I can I try and acrobatics my way through the gap instead of pushing it out of the way? Do you know what? Sure, you're just gonna have to give me some real real flair uh, with your description um, of this. So, like, I can I can see that there's you know sort of like a cat. Like, I can see that there's a just enough space for my my head to go through. So now I'm having to like line up my shoulders to be the same, like, um, width. If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that and and then just trying to really like head first push my way through. To. Room. Cool. Using my, I guess, using my staff as well to push off from behind. Uh. Okay. Um. Cool. Um. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to give me your acrobatics then, Les? Yeah, you do that. Um. I think yeah. As you kind of like lift up the flap a little bit and notice it's sitting against the the bed, you you like okay. Well, I can probably squeeze through that, and you. Um, and you you kind of get into the room. Um, and yeah, the the room is like empty. There's there's it's just basically as like as you found your room originally. Um, it looks very much like that, except it's um suited for one yeah. person. Uh, I think your room had yeah. like two beds in it because they assumed that you know Tilda would sleep. But then yeah, I'd just like to try and quickly jump out of the this this room the cool hallway. yeah and yeah you as you know the door was open um because you checked it before um as this one of these awkward <laughs> walks out of the door sees ovik come up the stairs yeah it's exactly it. so as as like emu opens the the door like ovik's probably taking the last step up the stairs um <laughs> and like you know bits of bits of wall are like falling off his shoulder <laughs> knocking around um, I guess him seeing him is what causes me to turn around and try and stall more by asking for him and stuff yeah yeah um uh yeah that's fine um cool. and uh yeah so as as you like turn around um maybe you obviously see Ovek standing there and then there's this like massive people behind him do you like take like a step back down the stairs a little bit Ewan or just like enough so they can't like see around the corner and see what's going on at the top of the stairs. Yeah, cool. Um, Just sort of want... covering it. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think what a, uh, what a. 
distraction oh, check would Deception, be. Deception, I guess, maybe. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, who's trying to do what? Sorry. Um, Ewan's trying Sorry. to distract the, 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 the everyone on the stairs longer um, as so they can't see around the corner as Emu kind of leaves that room. Uh, the question is, can they see Emu leave the room anyway? Because obviously Emu's not leaving the danger room, as it were. Um, so if you no, I I think like the the second the next room along like there's probably another couple rooms before the stairs. Um, what well, I mean is the to work out the check that you're asking for. Oh can right, they okay. See Emu as is because does Emu even have to roll a stealth otherwise? Because there's no need to distract if that's the case. Because if they can't see Emu, there's no need. No, they currently can't see Emu. So yeah, then and there's no need for a check. It's just Ovik is blocking it. So okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so I think um. <laughs> I think the man like kind of looks up at you, Ovek, and is like, can, can, can we go, please pass now? We, we need to sort. We need to sort this this, this mess out." I'm just trying to find out which room you mean. It's 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 that no room number number, so number twelve number twelve. We need to you, the, destroy the place. Sorry, I'm not I'm not good num with numbers. Is that the one with the the two after the one? The one and the seven. One and the one seven, and the two. One and seven. <laughs> seven this man is really stressed out, isn't he? He's, I just sort of like is. point the opposite way down the corridor to the one he means and say, "Oh, that." Oh, way the other way around. The other way around. Please. Uh, and he he like tries to like push past you. Uh, can Does I just like notices? pull them back? And, like, no need to be so rude. Give me a second. Um, do you want to like grapple him or? <laughs> I, I guess in like... athletics type. Put my hand on, on his chest and stop him from getting past me. Okay, okay. Uh, Emu, you you kind of see Ovik, I guess, like obviously stalling for time, for you. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um. So the the door is is locked into where where Tilda is. Uh huh. Well, she she said she was locked in. He didn't yeah. accidentally leave the key in the door, did he? Um, no, he didn't. He's got the he's got the key attached to his his belt buckle in a very stereotypical. This is my key, gatekeepery, you know, belt buckle. That this is where you should definitely aim for to steal the keys. Type. <laughs> can I can I walk past and try and slate of hand it off him? Um. Hmm. <laughs> it, you can definitely walk no past. Not, I was gonna say yeah, not to hose our own part. Considering we had just argued for him blocking sight of you so you didn't get noticed, it's tough unless you can get past Ovik. Right? Uh, I spread my legs. Not, he's not seen me, and or he didn't see me in the room. So he no, no, he didn't. He saw. No he only saw with, um, Tilda. Yeah, so he has no reason to connect me with any of the anything that's going wrong. He has literally no reason to, to have... Um, other than the fact that maybe he's flustered and now he thinks everyone's guilty. Um, I guess effectively I'm just trying to help him help Emu you know, do whatever he needs to do. So if he needs to get past, I can try and distract um, the dude to look at, like up at me and sort of like move the bottom half of myself to the side so Emu you know, could squeeze past or something. Well, yeah, from your point of view, um, Ovek, yeah, like you obviously you don't know that Emu Emu is, you know, "Quote unquote yeah. safe from the." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, just a lot of, uh, yeah as fair. much as a, a lot of this is like super assumptive as well, we just know this yeah. guy's shifty. Really, for the downstairs people, we don't really yeah. know who he's even talking about. Um. Really. Can I, right? can yeah. I just like Star Wars nod at um. <laughs> um <laughs> Ovek, and just like yep. you know, <laughs> just go with me on this. <laughs> Right. Yeah, if you haven't got inspiration, mark it already. <laughs> um, and then as I as I try and just like maybe do because if Obex's blocking the stairs, I just do a sort of a little hop round him, and try and swipe the keys as I as I go down the stairs. Kind of like you kind of like try and squeeze past Obex, and then maybe you know like accidentally like, oh, shoulder. Sorry, bump. sorry. Yeah, just start uh, moving more in the guy's way. <laughs> To let him past her, but yeah, her. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Do you wanna do you wanna like a sleight of hand nudge him out the way and like like as as you like 
like bump into him and accidentally take the keys and can i inspiration <laughs> you definitely <'Cause>... can because <laughs> my... <laughs> i feel like this is a pretty good chance not to go but inspiration Ooh, nice. nice. Worth it for one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you kind of squeeze past Ovek, you kind of, you know, path, like, really, really, like, slickly half trip uh, as you kind of um, pass the, the the caretaker and just fl- s- seamlessly grab the keys at the same time. Maybe you, um, you know, you'd, like, happens. apologize as you, as you walk past and... Uh, yeah, you, you have uh, in possession you. the keys to the rooms. The Ocean's Eleven music playing in the background, like the heist is <laughs> just being told off. Yeah. Um, I think I think at that point as well, after getting like bumped into, he's he's like even more flustered and he's he's just like looking at you, Ovek, pleadingly like, I need please just please just no. let me pass. Please, please, please. Can I I just like nod to, to Ovek just to like let him let him go. There's the Star Wars music now. Just, yep. <laughs> okay. Follow, follow me. <laughs> I'm confused as to where this is going, but okay. Do, or can I just uh, like nod, like pointing downstairs, just like trying to get him to to go? <laughs> okay. I'll step aside. Thank, thanks, just, just thanks. And then he um he thanks. just he runs past you of it, and then. Um, can I quickly just whisper as as the guys ran? past Ovec and I just whisper him to, to Ovec's ear just like uh, quick I need you to cause another distraction downstairs just whatever you can to try and bring that man okay. back, uh, back I'll to the, start to the walking down the stairs and as I get to like the second bottom step I'm gonna like trip over my own feet and like fall into the bar or whatever's into a table or something. <laughs> okay. Please <laughs> do not knock over my breakfast. Yeah, no, you're falling. You're falling into the box. Do you want it? Do you want it? <laughs> no. Do you want? Do you want to roll ac- acrobatics, maybe? Performance, maybe. No. Performance. Wouldn't yeah, give me a performance if yeah. you want. <laughs> if he is knocking over my breakfast, <laughs> I'm rolling sleight of hand to try and gather as much as I can. <laughs> Yeah, it, well, he is he is falling into the bar, so like some of the food is gonna get um, removed. Um, can Dex save dog. for breakfast? Dex God. save for breakfast. <laughs> Everyone who wants to save breakfast, Dex save. Yeah. <laughs> can I get advantage? So, like Big Dog sees all this and tries to help. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not. No, if you, you're each, <laughs> each for your own, you're both you're both deck saving if you want to um, save your individual breakfasts, but you're you're not helping each other save other people's breakfasts. Can I roll inspiration? You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. I'll, I'll, I'll save it. Will you know? <laughs> I shouldn't. Have Tom, do you know what? You um you you save like a decent amount of of the breakfast, maybe like a couple plates. Um. Wait, do I have to deck save? Fuck it, I'll deck save. You know what? I'll help you. You're just helping yourself, really, Dick Dog. Really. I'll help myself, but anything that isn't saved, I'll fucking also deck save again. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you managed to save like maybe you got another pint poured. You managed to save like your two pints, and um, you know, like like got your arm and like moved over a couple plates to the other side of the bar as all of it just clatters into this like kind of falling through it there's going to be a big damage bill i think at some point um, um, and this like and this is heard like through throughout the land um <laughs> and then clap. the caretaker just like um you know we have like a quick like cut to the to the caretaker standing there just about to reach down for his keys and then here's this clack and then just bolts down the stairs <laughs> he's gonna have a fucking heart attack he is uh, like, yeah. just anything yeah, just like underneath me i'm just gonna start as slyly like put some of it in my mouth because i'm missing my breakfast by doing all this shit yeah um i paid for all this <laughs> okay uh, and, i bought uh, you a keg last week um i think we'll take we'll take five minutes there or ten minutes oh, yeah. there um oh, <laughs> as you go i paid for this shit <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah.